Hello again, everybody. I'm Roger Hoover. Glad to welcome you back to the Crimson Tide Sports Network, and it's time for Alabama Legends. It's proudly presented by the Paul W. Bryant Museum. Make sure you visit them during your next trip to the University of Alabama campus in Tuscaloosa. And this week, it's Alabama against Florida for the SEC Championship game in 2020. In 1992, it was the first ever SEC Championship game. Same opponents, though. The Crimson Tide against the Florida Gators, and the quarterback of that Alabama team joins me now, Jay Barker. Jay, roll tide. I was everything going man doing great roger great to be on with you and gosh i cannot believe it's going to be uh, 28 years since uh, that game uh, uh shane matthews and i were talking about it the other day on a zoom podcast he does and uh we'll be celebrating that 30 year anniversary in the next uh, what two years but uh, hard to believe i was 10 years old when i played in that game <laughs> Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, you, of course, played well all throughout that 1992 season as the Crimson Tide were able to go undefeated in the regular season. Then there's this new wrinkle. There's an East, there's a West, and all of a sudden you've got this neutral site game in Birmingham, at least a place where you guys were familiar with playing. But just what did it feel like having that game for the very first time? How weird was that week getting ready after the Iron Bowl? Man, it was, it was tough because I mean, even the coaches and the media, especially fans, are talking about it. And I, I really, I, I think the SEC was more worried about Roger than anybody else because they were like, okay, we finally get a team back in contention, you know, and, and they were like, you know, we, we're, we're sitting at number two. We're going to play in the Sugar Bowl against Miami. That's the way it all lines up. Now we got the, this extra game to play. And, you know, it was one of those things where, you know, you're kind of like, why this year? But, I, you know, 91, they beat us 35-7 to in Gainesville. And for us, I think it was also we wanted redemption as the players – as the coaches and coach Stallings kind of took it from that standpoint and you know hey let's prepare for this one let's get ready and and I'll and I'll tell you it really prepared us for the, what we would explore what we knew would be or what it would be like for a national championship game that SEC title game got so much coverage uh nationally internationally you know statewide the media presence was huge the pressure going into that game so we were able to you know really two things one was to beat the team that had only be, beaten us in like 18 or 19 games and beat us bad um, and then also that game helped us prepare for all the you know expectations and media stuff and just all the hype that would surround that national title game. It, I think it really gave us a great edge. You mentioned you uh, visited with Shane Matthews earlier in the week, and I heard him today on your radio show. Uh, you had to be impressed just being on the other sideline, getting to watch him and the fun and gun offense of the Gators. What was it like to kind of match wits with him? Yeah, the first time was awful. I was 91. <laughs> I was a registered freshman and watching that ball go through the air and just I was like, man, this is it's a quarterback. It's beautiful. But uh, we, uh, you know, sat there and they just absolutely killed us. And in that game against them, you know, we actually came out and threw the ball more. We were It was uh, rainy and, and really like ice rain. Uh, it was freezing to death. And, and Coach Stallings loved throwing in the rain. And I was like, you know, as a quarterback, be like, on those beautiful days, why don't we Why don't we do this? But he, um, you know, we thought we could be, beat him over the top. Safeties were playing low into, into the run game. And um, we were able to hit some big shots, get up early. Run game continued to play so well that year, but yeah, it was fun watching him and watching that funny gun offense and Coach Spurrier just you know using his wits to kind of the chess match that you have with offenses and defenses. Watching Coach Spurrier and Bill Oliver go at it was always a treat. Of course, a tight game late, 21-21. Florida had the football, but it's a good thing Alabama had Antonio Langham on the field. What do you remember about the play that changed college football? Yeah, and I was telling Shane this other day that um, you know they. He intercepts. I saw the interception on his step in front, and it was a great gamble, as he says, on his part. Um, and all of a sudden, the sideline just moved. I mean, everybody went to the field. And so I was sending it to Mal Moore. We were jumping up and down. And then we could tell that he scored. And then we just gave each other a big hug. And we did that again in the national championship game when Teague stripped it, when uh, Tommy Johnson was intercepting it, or, you know, when, when Teague intercepted it, ran it back for a touchdown. It was uh, it was a great moment, and you know we realized then that we had solidified the game. We had to we got the ball back, ran out the clock, but you know we took the wind out from underneath a little bit of their cells and what they were doing as far as a comeback in that game and able to go on and win it. That was a huge, huge uh, part of not only my career and, and Antonio's definitely uh, all of our all of our players. Uh, that defense that year was just spectacular, um, but something that we you know carry on forever and really changed, as you said, football and the documentary done about it and how the SEC really led in that title game. And if we don't win that title game, then there's a lot of naysayers saying, is it worth it? Uh, and it was definitely worth it for us. And uh, he made that big play, able to win the game and move on to play for a national title and, and, and beat Miami. 
Certainly was a great year, 1992, and I'll let you go on this. I know you got to run, but 2020, the Crimson Tide looked to be as rock solid as ever. Just like that year, undefeated through the regular season. What do you expect this Saturday against the Gators? Yeah, it's going to be a tough game. I mean, it always is. I, I think our defense has gotten so much better over the over the weeks, especially really at halftime that Georgia game. Everybody's kind of talked about that moment. Um, you know, excited. My son Braxton's a part of this. He's a registered uh, uh, sophomore and having a chance to be you know on this team and the undefeated uh, part of that going through 2020. You know, really realizing as a father, as much as a former player, but as a father of a player there, what it's taken for them to get to this point, what it's taken, you know, practice-wise, workouts, uh, all the things that they've done in order to stay healthy uh, on and off the field and m- most importantly off the field uh, with COVID-19. So, you know, really a standout year for all these guys. So proud of Mac. You know, I want to see him be the first quarterback to win the Heisman, but, you know, I want to see Najee do well and also Devontae. I mean, Devontae's had an unbelievable year, maybe, uh, you know, one of the, the best years ever as far as receivers and careers. If you look at his numbers, Max played better than any quarterback I've ever seen play at Alabama in an offense beyond it. I mean, he's, some, some really great ones have come through, but uh, he, he deserves a lot of credit for what he's done. He's got a lot of talent surrounding him, but his ability to make those accurate throws, quick reads, and, and really the most impressive thing, and I know this probably didn't impress a lot of people, but it's his check nows. He's willing to give or take what the defense gives him and, and play smart football. And I, I know Sark and the coaching staff has got to love that, and that's what's made them successful because they're not turning the ball over and they're getting those explosive plays down the field as time goes along. Well, Jay, we're excited for Alabama against Florida in the 2020 SEC Championship game, but we enjoyed uh, catching some of your memories from 1992. Just thank you for joining us. All the best to Sarah and the kids, and a roll tide, my friend. Roger, thank you. Roll tide to all the Bama fans, and uh, thank you for what you do. All right, that was Jay Barker. Thank you for watching and listening to the Crimson Tide Sports Network.